Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Telepath Tactics. This is episode 4, and I've already decided upon what course of action I want to take. I prefer the Bowman to the Crossbowman, because there's mobility there. And I prefer the... well, I don't prefer the Meridian, but I, I'm assuming that she's going to be amazing. I find that most flying creatures in games like this become a boss if given the chance to grow. Since Madeline is our strongest character and highest level right now, it's going to hurt us a little bit, but I think if we can survive this and get maybe a level or two up on Meridian, she won't suffer too much not being part of this battle. In addition, I think we're, we're good to go. I've already maneuvered a few folks around. I, I took the chain off of Scarlet and I moved it over to Luis, and yeah, that's pretty much where we're at right now. Facade, we have Madeline. I mean, everybody's set. I think all the items are equipped. We're good to go. I just double checked and made sure beforehand we put bandages around where they need to be put, and it's time to get started. Well, well, I thought for sure I'd have to go all the way to Adelbray to find you lot. And yet, here you are. You've saved me a good half day's march. Let me repay you with a quick death. All right. So let's take a look. I think I'm going to move over here to the left, and we're going to try to use this water stuff as like a natural barrier to not get massacred by these folks. And let's see, a bunch of bandits, an archer, another archer, or a sniper as it were up there. Okay. Um, well, he says he's a sniper. He's a bowman, technically. Uh, we have a healer, we have a gunther, and a spearman, and then... Okay, those are all bandits, and then we have another swordsman, and a pyrokineticist, who's apparently a named character, Rebecca Flair, so maybe that'll be another uh, Zimmer Thrawn situation. I actually wanted to rearrange these guys, too. Darn it, too late now. Okay, oh, in some battles you might want to start out near, or might not start out near an enemy. Oh, okay. Rally, let's see. Let's rally over here, then, shall we? Okay, I guess we'll end our turn, and we'll rally again in the next little bit here. And we'll have to hope for the best. I don't know if we'll be able to move far enough. I should have probably used Sprint and stuff before I did that, though. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, can we close enough? I don't think so, but we're going to actually still send several of our folks over there if we can. And get as close as possible, and hopefully bait a few folks in. What I'm going to do with her is I'm going to chain pull her a little bit closer. I didn't do any damage, gave her a little bit of experience, which is always nice. We're also going to sprint with her, and we're going to run up there and get some folks at least close to the battle. And then the rest can close whenever they can make it there. Flying unit is always a good thing. And I guess that's as good as we're going to get with her, or him, it. Is that a him? Yeah, that's Zimmer, it's a him. Okay, that's going to be our move. Finally, a battle! All these years of study, and now at last I have a chance to show my true power. Oh yes, Igor will regret passing me up for that promotion. I know her. She sounds very, very, very menacing. Uh, we can talk to them. Yeah, I already knew that. We did that with Zimmer. We figured that out. It's just like games of old, folks. Just like the games of old. I'm all over this. Like a bad suit or a cheap suit or something? I don't, I don't know. It's fine. It's totally fine. There's going to be a little bit of stabby stabby poke poke damage action. Technically, it's a slashy slash poke poke action. And a little bit more, and we should be able to easily heal that up with her. We just have to get within range. Now, the big thing is, are we going to be able to get to her without getting attacked? Question is pretty profound. But shove, we can deal damage by drowning people if we shove them into the water. I mean, it's good stuff. It's compelling. It's rich. Alright, we're going to go and hit this one. Almost killing it, blinding it, which is fine. But I'm going to actually finish it off with the Sprigat. And hopefully that gets a decent amount of experience. It gives a little bit, not that much, honestly. I grabbed an item. It's 50 aura. We're going to, I guess, sit here. Okay, I can get behind this individual and smack him in the bum. 10 backstab damage. I'm okay with that. And it looks like that's it for him. We'll say done with that guy. Uh, additionally, looks like I can move here and do a little bit of damage there, eliminating him completely. 
And some strength and some energy gains. It looks like we're done with you. And what can we do with you? We can move you here, and we can do this, which is sweet. Oh, that's a bad move. We hit our own person, too, so we definitely don't want to do that. So I guess we just finish up with you. We'll move here and smack this guy. Not nearly enough to finish. Hmm. Well, I guess we move up here and we finish with her. We'll hit G, we'll come here. How far down? Oh, you can actually move there. Alright, well we'll just do it from the front line then. Boom. Down you go. Victory is ours. And I think everybody has moved and done everything they can do. I'd like to bait the pyrokineticist over, but she's looking like she's kind of being a little, I don't I want to say sketchy, but that's probably not really the word. Okay, a little backstab action there on our big dude. That's totally fine. Okay, what do we have now? Alright, there we go. We can fly over here again. And we could technically try to do some more battleation, but I don't think that's a wise course of action. So what we're going to do is probably start moving our way up. And I'm going to go for the long shot on this guy. It's going to do 5 damage. Oh, but it got dodged. That's unfortunate. Alright, we're going to come here. We're going to smack him. And then we're going to come up here. I guess we'll just sit there and wait. We can't quite take the chest just yet. We're getting closer. Um, how far can you move? You can move to there. We'll throw a heal up on our gal. Here we go. And a level up. Sweet, sweet, nice. Mental resistance, psi power going up. Um, could technically move there and then fire, hmm, it's too risky, it's too much, too much danger of just getting wrecked completely, so what I think I'll do is probably sprint, see if I can't get the pyrokineticist to come over and play with us, and maybe do an archery shot that far out, can't do it. Okay, we'll do that. Ooh, that's actually terrible. Hmm. I've totally blocked... Uh, is that Emma? Totally blocked Emma in. Well... Hmm. What I think I'm gonna do then is come over here and motivate this individual to get moving. Okay, and that looks like that actually did something, which is nice. And the high ground advantage is always good as well. What I think I'm going to do is maybe stand here and try another shot on you. And we hit him. Nice. Alright, a little bit of experience there. We're going to end our turn and hope for the best. Ugh, I grew impatient. Come, men, let us spill the blood of these miserable curs for Igor. Well, that can't be good. Alright, the sniper's up there shooting. Ooh, that did a little bit of damage. Not too, too much. Alright, looks like Gunther is moving. And his axemen or thieves or bandits, whatever they are, are moving as well. Additionally, it looks like we might be okay. Oh, she's going to go down that way. Alright. So the goal is still to... Tr what the heck is that? It's a purple leprechaun. What is it? So is that a thief? Hmm. Some weird stuff going on, folks. Weird stuff. Alright, well, we're going to come over here and we're going to deal with whatever this thing is. I can only assume it's a thief of some sort. And, oh, unfortunately, I can't do enough to actually kill it off. That is a sad day. I'm going to go here and throw a little bit more damage out going to actually come down here now and move one further away and then do this boom get wrecked double backstab action like a freaking boss getting counterattacks up in there and everything it's looking really really good we'll be able to go here as well and should be able to hadouken him down hadouken that is a sweet sweet nice style now all we have to do is somehow survive the fallout now, I'm not sure how we're going to do that. 
But we're going to give it our best shot. Okay, we're going to hold there. Hmm. I'm actually a little concerned right now. Did we've already oh we already made our move on him. Okay. Um Alright, how far can you move? You can move there, you can move there as well. Let's see if we can't bait the heal oh wait, if we do that we'll get hit with a fireball for sure. Okay, what is there anything else we can do? I don't think so. He can still move. Alright, well we'll have him move up here then and claw the guy and kill him. Good. Alright, so that's... At least that worked out pretty well for us. We're gonna go up after him with a melee character. It should be nice. And I think we're done. Let's see how this all plays out. Maybe a little bit of shot on one of the sisters. Shouldn't be that big of an issue. Oh good, she couldn't quite close with us. And it's gonna focus the sister. That's even better. I was afraid they were going to double focus him. It's not great. I mean, it's definitely not great, but it's it's better. Because we can heal the sister up still, and it's going to be just fine. Alright, the spearman leaves a little, little, bit, little bit to be desired, I would say, for sure. But I think we'll be okay. We'll come over here, we'll grab this up. There we go. We'll come on down here. We're going to come up here, and I think I'm going to try breathing fire on this thing. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll give it a shot. That can't be such a terrible idea, right? Okay, we're going to come down this way, and we're going to come over here. What kind of shot do we, do we have? 100% accuracy to hit that guy. Okay. I will definitely take that. And I can't use him to do anything anymore. We'll come over here and we'll throw the heal out on her. I'm going to come down here and smack this guy from the side. It'll be enough to kill him. There it is. Very, very nice. And I think we can do the same thing with you. Which is also very, very nice. We're going to grab up this. Move back down. One more time, move over here. I'm going to pick up this. Going to hit... I can run and actually make it to her. I think I'm going to. Alright, we're going to go... and sprint. And we're going to go for the uh, grab on her. And it looks like we can talk to her. Let's hope this isn't like a trap. Aha! An enemy! Behold the power of Rebecca Flair, Lord of Fire, Captain of Conflagration, Master of Pyrokineticist. Uh, Master Pyrokineticist, huh? That's funny. Why are they sending you out to fight alongside the common bandits? I would think they'd make you a commander or something. Oh, oh, see? I knew it! I knew they were undervaluing me. Igor wouldn't know talent if he set his beard on fire, which it did once, but that was totally an accident and doesn't count. Well, Rebecca, I'm Emma. Why don't you ditch these bandits and come fight with a group that will appreciate you? You speak convincingly, Emma, and what's more, I like your moxie. Nothing is hotter than a lady with guts and an eye for talent. I'm in. Well, isn't that just fantastic? I'm super excited. I think everybody should be. All right, we're going to move here and turn around. We're going to move here and turn around, and I think we are now in a fantastic position. We're definitely going to need some heals up on... Scarlet, but I think everybody else we're pretty decent on, so let's end the turn. Let's see, is this lathe over here or is this lathe? I don't remember. Good old Gunther. Alright, we're gonna have some archery being done. Not that big of an issue. We should be able to handle him no problem whatsoever. I think that's Gunther lathe. Alright, so let's take a look. Let's go up here, grab this. And I think I might stay up there for now. I don't think moving down is really the best of ideas. Okay, that's just a bandit, so that's fine. We can totally handle this guy. I'm gonna come over here, gonna smack him upside his noggin. That's gonna be sweet, sweet, nice. Come here, gonna punch him in the face. Also sweet, sweet, nice. And then move down, and I think we're gonna actually absorb the heal right now. There it is. We're getting pretty close. I'm getting giddy, guys. I love when, when things work out according to plan. Makes me super excited. Yeah! Easy freebie kill there. And we're gonna come over here. 
And check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! Get handled. Okay, well... How much health is he? He has 44 health. That is a significant amount of health. What if I go here and I fire on him? Ha! You're not even going to run away? Ha! You're making this too easy. Fire in the hole! Oh, he's burning too. What? Okay, well, I could drop this fool right now, and I really, really want to, but I don't think I can 100% yet. Like, if I go here... Alright, we're gonna go like that, and we're going to go like this, I guess? And we're gonna have to hope that that's enough deterrent to survive. We'll find out here in a minute. Okay, he's gonna move forward. There's gonna be a heal on the archer. Not a big deal. A little bit of damage there. Is he gonna run around to the right? Oh, he's using bandages. Okay, and moving to the left. Okay. Well, that's fine. We should be able to use some bandages as well. And he just opened himself up to a pretty nasty series of attacks. Okay, so I think we've got this pretty well at hand now. Um, hmm. Alright, I'm going to move there. I'm going to Hadouken this guy on the side of the head, the head, the face, or whatever. That's fine. Going to move here, and then Hadouken this guy. So another 12 damage done, which is a sweet, sweet, nice style. Let's see, is there a way to hit both of them? Probably not. Unless I go here. If I do that, I can hit him for 9. Which isn't so bad. I can't quite get an attack or a kill on anyone over there. Can move up here with her and throw a heal. I hope I'm not miscalculating. If I miscalculate, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Should be able to. We're going to try. Oh gosh, we're actually out of mana. Ooh, that's not good. How much health does he have? 13? I think I miscalculated. Oh no, no, no. Don't attack an ally. No. Okay, well, we're going to try this then. We're going to try a couple things here. Let's see. We're going to go into our inventory. We're going to get ourselves some bandages. We're going to use them. They are going to be sweet, sweet, nice style. And we have to figure out a way to make something happen here. I'm not sure we can do anything. Okay, a little bit of backstabby stab damage there. And we're going to hit here pretty hard. I don't think she'll die. Oh, this sucks. Sucks so bad. Can't believe you don't have the energy for the bow shot. Oh. Hmm. I don't have enough oomph to finish that. Well, you know. We have eight. If we move to the side, I don't know if we'll still have enough. Well, we'll give it a shot. She dodged. Oh, she dodged a retaliatory strike and got more dodge and everything else. This might still work out. I don't know. It's pretty messy right now. Um, can't even close enough to do anything with him either. Okay, I guess we're gonna end our turn and see. I I have fa oh we didn't have to kill him apparently. Okay, I have failed, but Pharaoh will not. I'll see you in the underworld. Okay, well I guess it's good that we didn't kill him. I I I, I guess I have no idea. I guess, but hey, there we go. As much experience as we could possibly get, we're waiting on something. I don't know what precisely, but something's happening to the game. And hopefully we know what this is soon. Um, did he burn out? Was that something that was supposed to not happen? I think I may have broken the game, guys. So basically what I'm going to do at this point is I'm probably going to have to reload and do it over again. I'll do that off camera. I'm just going to save it for now and I'm going to break off the episode here. 
Not sure exactly what happened, but apparently the game does not like whatever happened that did happen. So there might be a few different level up situations and things, but we're, it's pretty much going to be exactly the same. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully problems like this don't continue. The, de the developer did just update last night, so there could still be some tweaks and things that he's changing to make everything work out 100%. He said that he was aware of the problem with who can use this item and it actually didn't do anything and it locked up the game. So he said he fixed that, so I don't know if this is just the thing that happened or what the deal is. But, that's going to do it for this episode guys. I'll be back with the next episode whenever, well, whenever it comes up and whenever it happens. Either way, that's going to do it folks. I'll see you next time with more Telepath Tactics. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thanks for stopping by the Freak Show and I will see you later.